This is a quick DJI Air 2S review from a photography standpoint. I don't use my drone too much for video capture, so I thought there might be some others like myself that are more interested in the photography standpoint, as most videos out there only really talk about video for the most part. I'm coming from a DJI Spark, which I owned for a little while and ended up selling. The um, main reason is uh, I didn't really care for the photos. Um, they were just okay, but never was really wowed by the quality of them. So I was waiting for uh, a semi-affordable drone to come out with a decent sized sensor. So when the Air 2S came out with a one inch sensor and was around $1,000, seemed like what I was waiting for. So I ended up picking one up soon after they released in April. Been using it ever since. I normally take photos with my a7R3 for the most part and I'm always shooting raw and use Capture One mostly for the raw editing. So all the examples here are going to be from raw files that I edited and talking about the quality you can extract from them. The drone itself has been pretty great. Um, the flight time is long, way longer than I ever need and I really never have any issues with uh, connection strength. Like always have a good strong video feed and never ran into any issues with that. Especially, you know, if you do like you're supposed to and stay within um, sight of the drone, that should never be an issue with this drone. Um, and very stable. Yeah, it's just been, been great in that respect. The flare resistance has also been really good. Um, no issues shooting into the sun. Uh, the contrast is maintained and generally everything looks good. The center sharpness is really good. Um, I have had no issues with that. Um, it resolves the full resolution of the sensor definitely in the center. As you start to work your way out towards the mid-frame, you know, it loses some sharpness out there but it's still decent. But uh, towards the edges uh, it really starts to fall off so that's probably my main complaint is the edge sharpness is not great with this lens that's included. And as you start to edit the photos, um, I start to notice like when dealing with contrast and trying to get the exposure right in post, you really start to see um, some strong vignetting in the corners as well. But it's not as evident unless you start messing with the file afterward. So to combat the edge sharpness issue, I've started to try to take the photos a little wider than my final intended uh, product so that in post I can crop in and get those edges out of there. And there's plenty of resolution uh, to do this, which is a nice thing about this particular drone. And you know, you end up with a better result, um, not seeing the soft corners. So to sum it up, I'm pretty happy with the results that I can get out of the drone. Um, it's a little annoying that the corners are soft as they are, but you know, I can work around it. Um, and the center resolution is good enough that you can get something that's worthwhile um, out of the raw files. Uh, like compared to the Spark, you know, the quality is way better. Um, and I've seen uh, some results from some friends that have um, the Mini and Mini 2. And again, the, the big sensor is definitely worth it. Um, uh, even compared to the regular Air 2, uh, the, just ha having the full one inch sensor, even though the corners are sharp, you still just pull more detail and dynamic range um, with the Air 2S. And you end up with more of something you'd expect from an actual camera. Like, not you know as good as my R3, but better than something out of a cell phone and you end up with results that don't look like cell phone photos in my opinion. And that really was the main thing that I wanted in a drone. And until recently, you know, something that qualified for that was just so expensive that as a hobby it just wasn't worth that purchase. Um, but this Air 2S for $1,000 is pretty much what I was looking for. Uh, I do wish it had um, a variable aperture uh, that would be a very nice addition. So hopefully um, Maybe the next iteration of this drone may include that and that could help with the soft corners, too um, 
so and also in video and getting the exposure right um, at, at a given you know uh, FPS that you're trying to shoot at. So definitely is not perfect, but it's pretty great for the price point and been been happy with it so far.